Hey, good morning, friends. It is Monday, April 13th, and you have a blanket on. I know. I am starting to get a cold and I am freezing. So oh. I am wearing this today. Not yes. COVID, uh, just a cold. Yes. Um, but also, it's snowing outside. Yeah, it's like 13 degrees and snowing <laughs> outside here yes. in Colorado. So yes. we had a very um, beautiful, sunny, but very cold Easter. Yes. Happy day after Resurrection Sunday. Happy. Happy day after Resurrection Sunday, declaring the life of God mm -hmm. through our homes still mm -hmm. and through our bodies. Yes. Um, okay, so this is kind of a reset. So we, um, a recap, we've all been sheltering at home for quite a few weeks now. Uh, I think we're going on a month. Yeah, it's been four weeks. Yeah, yeah. Um, and others have been longer because the quarantine restrictions came in sooner, but this begins to take a toll. And what we wanted to do is just kind of review um, good practices, yes. like how do, how do we grow strong in this? How do, how do we come out of this well and really make the enemy regret what he's doing to humanity? First with us, like first we want to be those trees yes. that are so beautifully described in Psalm 1 mm. and in Jeremiah 17, mm. whose leaf does not wither. Mm. Their leaves do not wither and whatever they do prospers. And that's because their roots are down deep into God. Mm. So um, here's what we've been talking about. We've been talking about consecrate. Every day you mm -hmm. are consecrating your shelter at home period. Yes. And this day mm -hmm. we consecrate to God. Yes. Right. Right. And then doing things that that root you deeply in God each day. Right. Your daily things. So right. we want to remind you about the daily prayer that you can find on our app or at our website. And we do pray it every single day. And um in our own times with God. No, and it's, know it by heart by now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's been a while. So it's such a beautiful prayer of aligning yeah. ourselves with the truth, aligning ourselves and taking our place in Christ's death, in his resurrection, and his ascension. Yeah. It's, it's a powerful prayer that uh, you know changes me. The way I can enter into the prayer in the morning is very different than the way I exit the prayer because... Um, I don't know. Sometimes I wake up an unbeliever. Yeah. It's just, you know, yeah. the toll of the nighttime. And uh, and then to align myself with the truth of God's love and who I am in Christ. It's just, yeah. it's brilliant. So I want to encourage you. You can look that up. Use it. Find another version just to, to align yourself at the break of day with the truth yes. of who you are and who <clears throat> Jesus is. Yeah. yeah. So consecration, <clears throat> daily prayer. And then some point in your day, we are recommending that give some time to God. Yes. The trees in Psalm 1, mm -hmm. what differentiates them from the chaff is that they are able to give God their lingering attention. They meditate on the word of God. Yeah. And so worship every yes. day, like crank worship in the house, or if that doesn't work, put your headphones on and just some time of personal worship every day. Mm -hmm and scripture that you are mm -hmm. grounding yourselves mm -hmm. in some key verses and some key truths right now i uh, i was reading in ecclesiastes yesterday and one of the passages was i didn't tell you this it was um do not ask yourself why do you say why were the former days better than these days and solomon's saying you know, that's just not even a good question to ask mm -hmm. like don't even go in that direction that's yeah. not that's not healthy so like grounding yourself in scripture maybe yes. read psalm 1 and those trees yeah um and then like we've been talking about the other practices like declaring life and declaring yes. love yes. because death and hatred in a dark sense from from the kingdom of darkness are really rampaging across the earth right now mm -hmm. and so invoking love yeah and invoking life into yes. our homes, into our realms. Yeah, and Ken, I, you recommended a worship song yesterday. So yeah. um, a couple that we've been camping out in is No Fear in Love. Is that Stephanie? Yeah. I can't say her last name from Bethel. And then Shelter. 
Yeah, that's a really good one too. Yeah, that's I mean, such there's a so good many one. good Vertical ones. Vertical worship, yeah, there's a shelter. Couple. Yeah. No fear in love mm -hmm. by Stephanie from Bethel. <clears throat> yeah, really good songs. Mm -hmm. Been playing those a lot. And then just the basic stuff, right? Like taking care of your body, moving every day, getting the stress out of your body. If you can't get out for a walk, doing some exercise in the house, like just deliberately doing some things to get that stress yeah. out. Like let's let's go deep. Yeah, this is press in. this is our only choice actually. Mm -hmm. it, it press in, go deep, come out of this stronger yeah. and and then more on that tomorrow. So love you all and hope you have a wonderful Monday.